Today, our topic is types of separation or concentration of ore in periodic classification of elements, Unit 8, Chapter 8 in Chemistry. So, types of separation of separation or concentration of an ore. In the last class, we have seen about the terminologies in metallurgy and in that the ore, how the ore from the mineral, minerals and ore and what are the terminologies you have seen in the metallurgy. And today you are going to see the types of separation or concentration of an ore. So there are four major types of separation of ore based on the nature of the ore. So based on the nature of the ore, there are four major types. So on what the types of uh, separation or concentration of ore is classified means nature of the ore. The different kinds of ores of metals are given below. Oxide ore, bauxite, cuprite, hematite, carbonate ore, marble, magnesite and siderite, halide ore, cryolite, fluorosphere, rock salt, sulphide ore, galena, iron pyrites, zinc blend. Hydraulic method or gravity separation method. So hydraulic or gravity separation method. So first the principle how the hydraulic method works. The differences in the density or specific gravity of the ore and the gangue is the main principle behind this method. So the principle main principle it deals with the density of the ore which has the specific gravity density or the specific gravity of the ore and the gangue. So you have to think about the differences between the density of the ore and the gangue. Gangue is the rocky impurities which is going to separate. Oxide ores are purified by this method. Example, hemolite, the iron that is the ore of iron. Fe2O3. So, you must know when the ore is heavier than the impurity, this method can be used in the, that is the impurities, that is what is more, the ore is more than the impurity, that time this method is used. So, first principle, you must know the difference in the density of ore and gangue. This is the principle. And what ore can be separated by this method that is hydraulic method, oxide ores. Example, hematite. Hematite is an ore of iron. Okay. So, when this hydraulic method is used, the ore is heavier than, ore is heavier than the impurity. That time you have to use this method. And this is the method of separating the ore. So this, this is the, that is the machine. Okay. And the machine and you are supplying the water current here. So the machine is sending the, that is sending the ore particles, fine ore particle. And you have a table with corroder. Corroder means uneven. And even you can see the ups and downs that is the groove. This is the up mount and the groove. So this portion is called the groove. So you can see this. So while pouring the water current and the fine grain particles. So what will happen? The agitation. Agitation means the shaking. The shaking of uh, the O oh, that is a uh, machine due to the machine. The shaking takes place due to that shaking. The ore particles are settled here in the groove. So, in this portion you can see the ore particles and the gangue, gangue is nothing but the impurities will be separated and it will be come out of the table. After completion, completion of this method, you can take the ore, this, this ore and you can take the ore for further use. So, this can be called as hydraulic washing also. So now I will read this. You can understood. 
so method the or is poured over a slopy vibrating corrugated table with grooves and a jet of water is allowed to flow over it so this is the or and it is pouring on the uh, that is corrugated uh, table table with a shaking agitating shaking during that time they are allowing the water current too okay so the denser ore particles settle down in grooves and lighter gangue particles are washed down by the water so while doing this you can see the gangue this is a lighter material so it come outside but the thicker one that is the denser because it deals with the density no the denser one particle that is the ore is settled in the grooves so, so here it is settled okay so this method is called hydraulic method of separation and next we move on to magnetic separation method principle the magnetic properties of the ore forms the basis of separation so magnetic properties the what is a magnet it will attract no so that on basis of that the separation is done okay when either the ore or gangue is magnetic this method is employed so maybe ore is magnet has the magnetic properties or the gangue has the magnetic properties during that time only this magnetic separation method can be used example tin stone SnO2 this is the ore of tin and you can see this this one this diagram this is a metallic bay that is the belt uh, belt in that you are putting the finely grinded ore and the agitation takes place and this is the metallic roller and the during the machine operating no this one so what happened the ore is settling that is it comes here and here in the magnetic roller the magnetic that is the magnetic particles will fall into it uh, from, which can be easily separated uh, separated with non magnetic particles okay so if the ore or gangue has the magnetic properties this method that is this magnetic uh, separation method is used so we will see the method now the crushed ore is placed over a conveyor belt belt which rotates around the two metal wheels one of which is magnetic so this is the belt the conveyor belt and you are pouring the fine grounded ore and this these two are metallic wheels and in one one is magnetic acting as a magnetic wheel also the magnetic particles are attracted to the magnetic wheel and fall separately apart from the non magnetic particles so now this is the magnetic so the magnetic particles will attract and it falls in the magnetic particle tray and the non magnetic was separated and it collected in the another that is another beaker another vessel okay so next we move on to fourth flotation the principle this process depends on the preferential wettability of the ore with oil and the gangue particles of water so wettability the wet of the ore with the oil here they use the pine oil pine oil means they are taken from the pinus plant turpentine oil you can use this you can hear this word and turpentine oil okay and gangue particles by water so the ore is in oil but the gangue in water lighter ore such as sulfide ore are concentrated by this method so lighter ore lighter ore means sulfide ore is used uh, by this used to by, used this method to separate the ore example zinc blend z n s so when the impurity is heavier the ore, this method is used for hydraulic ore is heavier so that method is used in hydraulic but here if the impurity is more 
that is heavier and the ore is lighter means there you can use this fourth flotation process. So you, this is the diagram and you can see a compressed air that is a air and you can see in the container containing the ore containing the pine oil and gang you with water particles what you have you are getting you are sending the air in a air in, air in a tube and you are putting agitation during that agitation the particles because the lighter particles comes here the lighter particles are ore the heavier particles settles down they are called as gangue and now you can it looks like a float fourth form like appearance so it looks like a fort fort and you can collect this particle that is ore particles method the crushed ore is taken in a large tank containing pine oil and water and agitated with the current of compressed air so you are taking this is a container with the ore with pine oil and water you are taking it and you are allowing the compressed air to agitate the ore is wetted by oil and gets separated from gangue in the form of fourth so now after the agitation starts what happen the ore is that is mixed with oil so it is wetted with oil and it is separated so it comes that is the ore comes in the upper surface and gangue was in the lower surface of the vessel so now the ore is separated since the ore is lighter it comes on the surface with the fourth and the impurities are left behind so the ore is lighter lighter means it floats on the surface so the gangue is thicker so it settles down so example is zinc blend so zinc blend is mm, separated by float flotation process chemical method of leaching so this method is employed when the ore is very is is in very pure form so the ore is totally in pure form so the ore is treated with suitable reagent such that the ore is soluble in it but the impurities are not so for this purpose the ore is in pure form you have to treated it with reagent and no impurities is seen in the ore while this while putting in the while treating with the reagent the impurities are removed by filtration so you are putting in a reagent and you are filtering it there the some impurities will be filter so the solution of the ore that is the filtrate is treated with suitable reagent which precipitates the ore so suitable reagent after the filtrate you are sending it to a suitable reagent if it mixes the ore mixes with the reagent it becomes precipitate example bauxite the ore of aluminium al2o3 2h2o you must know some of the points the extraction of metal from metallic metal oxide can be categorized into three types more reactive metals medium reactive metals less reactive metals sodium potassium calcium magnesium aluminium or more reactive metals electrolytic reduction of metal oxide into metal this was seen in more reactive metals medium reactive metals zinc iron lead copper so chemical redu reduction of the metal oxide into metal using coke so the chemical reduction can be takes place uh, that is metal oxide to metal by using the coke coal less reactive metals silver and mercury so thermal decomposition of the metal oxide into metal so thermal decomposition of metal oxide to metal so thank you for watching the video if you like give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel